And uh, I think I'm starting to get the gist or something of uh, why it's giving me those uh, targets and uh, those platforms or something to get up to the next level. So that way I don't have to do, do them over and over again. Uh, that's just my guess. I don't really know. But I'll take whatever I, it can throw at me anyways. I can't believe I got stumped or something like right here. Well, I guess if you haven't really played the game for like five years, I guess. <laughs> wow. I look like a buffoon. Okay, so let's see. So I got the thing up there. Let's head up there. Okay, and then, yep, don't have to worry about those stupid blocks or anything anymore. And it's kind of funny how I tricked that, but I kind of wonder why that's there in the first place, but oh well. Don't question the logic of video games. Alright, so let's head down the next corridor, shall we? We can actually make some progress in this place. I wonder if the pose are still in the same room. Yeah, I remember in the original, it starts out twisted, so where I'm actually going is probably the pose place next, which is the... Is it the red or the blue pole that's first? I think it's the red one that's first, if I remember right. Yep, got the key so I can keep on going. Okay, and then I don't have the bow yet, so there's nothing I can do against that pose. So I'll just switch paintings until I get to the bow anyways. Is it still in the center of the dungeon, which is just right up here? I don't know. Uh, anyways, I only have one, pl one way to go, so let's do it. Let's see, I wonder how it's going to change. I know there's like Stalfos or something in this place. Okay, come across the pit. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Come on, let's fight. La la la. Come on. It's not like I haven't fought you before like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Come on. You going to do a little jump attack there? Yeah, you keep doing that. And I know a lot of people kind of like the Stealthos, I guess, from this dungeon. And I admit they're pretty fun or something, but... Mm, I don't know. What can I really say about it? I mean, it is what it is. I guess it's probably because I've fought them so many times that I don't really have a problem with them, I guess. But I suppose there are they are cool and everything, but I don't know. Let's see, I forgot that, uh, okay, okay, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's just because I fought them so many times that I don't really have a problem with them or anything, that I don't really view them as difficult or anything like that. I guess a lot of people find them hard or challenging or something, but, uh, it's kind of the same thing like with, uh, Dead Hand and with, uh, yeah, it's kind of the same thing that I have with Dead Hand and, uh, I guess with the master hand is I think they're impressive the first couple of times and then after that I don't know I don't know they kind of they're kind of like a dope version of a uh, dark link or something in my opinion yes I finally got the bow now I can start hunting down the pose anyways all right so here we go so I finally got the bow so uh, so far, yeah, I'd probably say that the Skulltulas are probably the hardest thing so far in this dungeon, and that was like the first five minutes. <laughs> Finally got the bow. If I didn't have the bow, then uh, I'd probably be screaming at the moment. I'm probably, I'm really surprised I haven't found the map or compass yet either. Huh, I thought I'd find them earlier. But those are things I don't really need. Okay, so let's head back to the red Poe anyways, and I got a stupid Poe battle to do. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know or something why this puzzle doesn't really fascinate me anymore. I remember it used to when I was little, but I don't know. It just kind of feels tacked on now. It's like, it used to be so cool. It used to be so challenging. And it used, used to be such a cool concept, but I don't know. It just kind of feels more like a gimmick to me more than anything else. I don't know. I can't quite get into this puzzle like everybody else can. Let's see. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. Okay, and then you only got one more left to hide in anyways. Yeah, maybe the reason I don't really I don't really admire them really all that much is because they're pose and really nothing else. Let's see, okay. Yep, you do that. And then it's gonna turn invisible. Uh <sighs> this is gonna take a while. Man, come on! Reap here. Oh. 
Why do the iron boots not bother me? Well, why does this bother me? Do I just let it bother me? I think I know why. I think I know why the poses are finally starting to bother me. Like, you know what? It does take a second or something, just like with the iron boots. Is that I'm just sitting here like waiting or something? So, because I have patience for the iron boots, I shouldn't theoretically be impatient with something like this because it takes longer than the iron boots for him to reappear. And I think I know what's really bothering me about it is that I don't think the payoff is really worth it. Is that? Maybe it's because it turns invisible that it's become that it's kind of more like a cowardly enemy that I really don't like the pose. Finally got the map, <laughs> but not like that's really any good. But yeah, this uh, I think that's the big reason I don't really like the pose is that I hate cowardly enemies in video games, and I think the pose pose has kind of come off as something like that, and they even take longer than the iron boots, so I can't use that. Uh, I can't use that, oh, they take forever or something to spawn or something as an excuse. So, yeah, I'll be objective about that. Is that, yeah, well, I, yeah, I hate the waiting. I hate that they are cowards and that they don't really come out and fight and that they don't really have good AI. And it just doesn't feel worth it or anything to really have a gimmick like that. Maybe that's the reason why these... Maybe that's the reason that uh, these don't really rub off on me as much as they do with other Ocarina Time puzzles, is that AI kind of sucks with the pose. Yeah, look, all they do is just charge towards you and then they turn invisible. See? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think I'm finally starting to figure it out why I don't really like the pose as much. Because like uh, with the dancers and things, at least they're moving. At least they have a pretty good AI and they're a lot of fun to fight. They actively run away from you when you get them down to their weakened form, and they dance around the room. I think that's awesome. Is that I think the AI is better, anyways. But here it's just uh, pretty much just bait them to attack you a couple of times, and then they just reappear. And I think I, uh, yeah, I think uh, in video games or something, I prefer honorable. I prefer honorable foes rather than uh, cowards that run away. And that's probably a big reason I don't really like the World of Warcraft enemies is because when you hit enough of them or if you get their health low enough, there are some enemies in that game that will actively start r running away and I hate those enemies. I hate enemies that hide or like, I hate, uh, I don't know, like I'm trying to figure it out like even right now. Let's see, okay, so let's head back up. That's right, I went the wrong way. Me and my navigation skills anyways. But yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I just don't think the... I just don't like the pose, just... Uh, I just think that's... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, my mind's kind of going all over the place. Okay, so I finally got a... So I need to get a key, but I finally have the bow now. So I can start heading into the right courtyard. And that might be the place or something to drain the well. So I'm probably guessing that's where I need to go next. And uh, I should have used Far Away's Wind to go all the way back there, but I didn't. I, oh well, I don't really mind or anything. I don't mind the trek or anything. But yeah, I'm actually kind of glad that I'm kind of st hammering out of why I don't really like the pose. Is that, yeah, I just hate cowardly enemies that just stay invisible and then you just bait them a couple of times and just a really anticlimactic enemy. Like compared to the. Let's see, is there a hole or something around here? Yeah, which I'm probably guessing no. Oh, eh, the wall master's coming after me. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, but again, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Like, don't get me wrong or anything. I'm having a blast with this dungeon at the moment. So, nothing wrong with it or anything. Like, even though I talked about the pose and the environment and the music or something... Those are just really little things. Like it really takes uh, it really takes a lot in order for me to really hate something in a video game. Like uh, what I pretty much went on for a rant or something in the last episode and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, the Forest Temple, yeah, lackluster, but nothing to really hate about it or anything. Yeah, it's kind of a weird concept. Okay, now I can access the right courtyard. At which I'm probably guessing this is where this small key is. This is starting to turn out to be a lot of backtracking. Definitely more than the original, I'll give it that. Or I should have used Far or Raise Wind anyways. Hello, big deck you plant. 
So anyways, there's like vines or something over there. Oh, let's see. There's a song and time thing over there. Can you guys see it? Let's see. I wonder if I can reach it from here. Okay. I wonder if that will reach it. If it might put it into a different place anyways. Yep. There we go. We got it closer. Let's see. Uh, it didn't really do anything though. <laughs> didn't really... Let's see, so all we got left here are the vines, or wait, the vines are on the left side, if I remember right. Let's see, this is the only place I couldn't access earlier until I had the bow, so this is the right way right way to go. But the, it's a good thing I got, got the map and the compass, because as I can see a couple of chests in the room now. I guess that's where I should be really thankful for the compass anyways. Let's see, there's like a chest or something down there, up there I can see. Let's see, I, yeah, this thing's still filled with water, so there's nothing I can do about that yet. So that means the only situation that we have left, ooh. Let's see, I wonder if it can uh, rearrange itself again. I wonder if it'll do that, but you never know unless you try. Let's see, is it gonna come down here? Uh, I guess not. Oh! Well, there's a block over there now. Yeesh, this is crazy. I think this is like a Song of Time puzzle, I think. Alright, uh... Did that really do anything? I don't think it did. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go check something out really quick. Uh, let me see. I want to see if I can reach that uh, chest anyways from the here. But my guess is no. Yeah, it's too obscure. I'm not gonna reach it. But I want to try something. Here's a... Uh, because like I saw the web and things in the other room. But I'm curious about something. So I'm gonna go check it out over there really quick. So let's see. So I need to knock out this eye anyways. Yeah, this is a... Because, like, remember in things, like, I did a lot of puzzles, like, with Oracle of Ages, and I've done a lot of puzzles and other puzzle games and things, so... This is kind of my kind of thing, is that I try and experiment with a lot of things to make sure that they're working and everything. Okay, so let's see. Now we're into the other courtyard now, which has all of these annoying enemies. Okay, let's get rid of you guys. Come on. Hit your own... Barf at yourself. I don't know. Come on. Let's get rid of you guys. Okay, so this is uh, kind of my guess. Is Let's see. Are there any uh, fire or anything I can use in order to hit that web through anyways? Let's see. Uh... Let's see. Let's get rid of these guys for starters. Which, finally, these guys go away. Okay, get rid of you. Come on, okay. So, got rid of everybody there. So, let's head up now. Huh, I got a lot of hearts raining down. Yeah, I kind of thought that would happen or something. Alright, so I need like fire or something. Is there like any fire? Or anything in this room so I can hit that web with? Let's see, what about Din's fire? Can I hit that from here? Let's see, I need to be as close as I can possibly be. But I doubt it because it's way, way high. But you never know unless we try. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, um, uh, hold on guys, I'm gonna do something here really quick, okay? So I'm gonna stop the video for a moment, okay? So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, sorry about that wait, anyone, everybody. So what I was actually uh, trying to do 
was uh, I was going to get the fire arrows uh, from Lake Hylia. Anyways, in order to in order to burn that web on, on the other side of the courtyard, which was on the left side. And you know what? That's actually a pretty creative way in order to get through the dungeon or something. But in kind of a different sense or something, that's pr pretty much saying this dungeon beat me. So I better uh, use some exceptional means or something in order to beat the temple anyways. Which is uh, kind of ironic because in the Dodongos Cavern, I... Well, I guess it's kind of an extra reward or something in order to, I guess, do the Navi dive, I guess. I don't know. I'm probably justifying or... Saying it somewhere along the line, so I'm not saying it right, but <laughs> so anyways, what we need to do here is that we need to bring these uh, Song of Time blocks, uh, blocks here. Yeah, I didn't notice this a target thing on top of this thing until just recently, so I found another opening in order for me to continue onwards. But I was right in saying that uh, the right way to go about this is actually staying in this courtyard, anyway, since I have the bow, because ever since I got the bow. The only place that got opened up was this right side of the courtyard right here, so the only place that's logical to go is here, so it works. Oh, okay, good. And that's the wonderful thing about the Master Quest mod is that it is a lot more challenging. I will give it that, and for that, I'm extremely grateful. And you know what? This is actually turning out to be my favorite temple so far from the Master Quest mod anyways. Uh-oh. Whoops, I didn't mean to go up from behind there. Oh, never mind. I guess I did. Oh, alley up. Okay, so coming up here. So we got the Song of Time and things like right there. So we got a little skull to there right there. And now, guess what the next step is? Yeah. You know, this is kind of... Yeah, I do have to admit or something. Is that so far, I probably like this dungeon a lot more than the other ones so far. <laughs> Which is kind of ironic because in the original, it's considered my least favorite. But so far, this is my favorite one so far. And that's really how much the music and the dungeon themes and things doesn't really get to me. Is that it doesn't really get to me to the level or anything that it becomes unlikable or anything. It's just I don't really mind it like compared to the other ones. That's yeah, I know I've gone on, I've gone on about it like a hundred thousand times about it, but yeah, that that is important stuff though. Like if you're going against the popular crowd, like with the Forest Temple or whatnot, then uh, those are some important things you got to keep aware of. So this is where the spider web is. If I go to the other side, anyway. So yep, what do you know? Look at what we have here. And look, we got a little fire thing right there. Let's see, is there like a wall master thing right here? Because that would suck while I'm working on this. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's taken care of. So that's, uh... But what did that do? Well, like I opened it and everything, but... The question I have now is, is that how do I drain the well? Because I know where the small key... Oh, wait. Wait, the small key. Oh, I just got it. What am I... Bleh. I'm being a real doofus today. You guys know that? <laughs> I don't know. But, like, the thing is with the Master Quest mod is that it sets my expectations so high. It, it's crazy. Whoop. Uh, yep, but finally I got the small key and everything. Let's see, I wonder if I would be able to make that uh, crate or something down there. It's going to be quite a jump. No, it looks too far. I don't think I'm going to reach it. But, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Ah! Nope. Nope, way too lackluster. Anyways, let's see what we got here. Okay, so I got the three song and time blocks right there, which is what I want, just in case I head down to, the, to that chest anyways. I think that's how I beat it, beat it the last time, if I remember right, is that I accidentally... Is that I think I got the chest or something, the small chest somehow, and getting over to the other side or something, and then I happened to get farther or something into the temple. <laughs> I don't know, it's funny stuff. Well, uh, anyways, yeah, we got everything uh, cornered out and everything, so the next thing we got to do next is uh, head all the way to the end. And yeah, I'm having a blast. I, I love this temple. I am loving this temple. Just The puzzles are extraordinary here. I love how much it's pushing me to think a little bit. Like, even, like, it's a true sign if it's really stumping me with something that it wants me to start getting the fire arrows to Lake Hylia. Then that, that means it's making me th think of outside sources in order to fi figure out how to beat it. Which, I probably would have, I definitely would have be, been able to do it if I did it with the, the fire arrows and things. But, you know what, this is an honorary thing anyways. Is that, yeah, this 
Like, we gotta face the forest temple and things the right way. We gotta do it this right. Alright, so... Uh, darn it, I should've used Far Away Race Wind again. It's just a lot of backtracking. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy, you stupid skulls. You guys know how crazy this is, right? Backtracking, backtracking. This is reminding me of the Stone Tower Temple. Not cool. Oh, come on. Going all the way back, then going all the way forth, then going all the way back, then going all the way forth. Ugh. I've never been a big fan of backtracking. Like, that's a big reason I can't get into the Metroid series compared to everybody else, is that backtracking is just... Uh, uh, I can't do it. I can't do backtracking in Metroid. Like, the only game that I really like from Metroid is really Metroid Fusion. It's because it doesn't really do a lot of it. It's that... Yeah, it doesn't really do a whole lot of uh, backtracking in Metroid Fusion, which is why I like it a lot. Is that... Well, you're kind of backtracking old sectors or something, but you head to new places within the sector, so it kind of keeps it fresh and original. But here it doesn't. Or like with Metroid usually in here, it's not really... But uh, yeah, that's kind of something that's more my, my fault or something, because, uh... I know, I know. <sighs> that stupid overhyped Master Hand. You know what, you were really scary. The first time when I faced you, when I was like 10 years old. You are not scary anymore. Get out of here. You're more of a nuisance more than anything now. Let's see. So I managed to make it all the way to the end. And then, oh, shoot. That thing gave me a lot of rupees. Which means I got to go spend it somewhere. So let's see. Oh, we got skulls and stuff here now, huh? Which I really don't care. I want to move past. Oh, shoot. I got another key. Okay, so now we got another situation here. And I think I know what I probably have to do with this. Is that since I have access to this now... Let's see. Huh, so uh, since I have the bow now... Okay, so there's one more key. And the only place that's left to get a key, really, is that well back in that first room. Let's see, so we got to think about this a little bit. Let's see, so there's no way, is there any switches or anything in this room so I can actually make this go forward? Okay. Any switches or anything that I should know about? Let's see, the only way that we can make this room crooked Okay. See, I unlocked this room, so there should theoretically be something in this room to help me solve it. Uh, theoretically, anyways, but uh, so far it's not so good. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to stop the video here for a little bit because I gotta do a little bit of exploring and find out what all of this crap is that I'm doing right now because it seems like it oh let's see oh shoot that was like my last case right there but okay I'm gonna stop the video here for a second so I can figure out what to do so I'll see you guys here in a second